The goal of this video is for you to understand the diagnosis, observations and treatment planning charts and how the different features in those screens work. Let's give you a quick explanation on what the diagnosis, observations and treatment planning charts are. There are two different modes, one being observation slash diagnosis mode and two being treatment planning mode. Each mode contains different tooth options, which includes restorations, crowns and replacements. In the observation slash diagnosis mode, the doctor will complete the chart after closely observing the patient's mouth where they will identify the nature of the problems by doing an examination of the mouth. In the treatment planning mode, the doctor will do the planning of the work slash procedure that the patient needs to be done, where they will give the patient a treatment plan with costs of the procedures. Now, to access these charts, you can either do it from the Diary tab or the Debtors tab. Simply click on the debtor slash patient you want to work on and then click on the clinical button in either of the side panels. In the clinical screen, select the dentist tab and then the observation slash diagnosis option. This is the observation slash diagnosis chart. Take note that when we switch to treatment planning mode, that the screen looks the same. On the right hand side, you will find the different tooth options such as imperfections, restorations, crowns and so much more. Underneath that are the odontogram layers, of which you can choose to see these specific layers on the chart or not. You can click on the drop down below a tooth number to add details such as notes, marking the tooth missing or as a crown, implant or denture. To add a tooth option, simply select the tooth number and mark it with the tooth options on the sidebar. Take a look on what will happen once you add a tooth option. To switch into the treatment planning mode, simply click on the yellow arrows next to the green observation slash diagnosis mode button. To create a treatment plan, start by adding your ICD-10 code in the diagnosis field in the treatment plans invoice section. Now you can start to select the tooth numbers and mark what needs to be done on them with the tooth options on the sidebar. As soon as you select a tooth and click on the tooth option, it will automatically appear on the treatment plan invoice. If the tooth is highlighted in red, it indicates that the work hasn't been completed yet. If the tooth is highlighted in green, the work has been done. The tooth will turn green if you tick the completed block next to the invoice line at the bottom of the chart. You can click on the download treatment plan to download it, of which you can later email and or print it for the patient. The system will ask you if you want to save the treatment plan as an estimate invoice. Select Yes. The treatment plan will then download as a PDF. Once you are done, click on the Save and Close button. If you wish to invoice the patient after this process, simply select the booking and in the diary side panel, click on the invoice button. You will see that the details you've added in the treatment planning mode have pulled through into the invoice screen. 
From here, you can add other materials and supplies used in the procedure.